Well, Bills fans, we almost had them last week. Baltimore looked like a really good game. I really thought we were going to get them. I, just, I didn't see any reason why we weren't going to win the game. Up by 14 at the half. And then we just come out terrible. I mean, it just it was fumbling the ball, tip interceptions. We're talking about the whole nine yards. Anything that could happen went wrong, went wrong. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers. I mean, if you could just say you just run the ball averagely and just score a couple of field goals and you're up by 14 at half, you probably win the game. Just run the ball, kick a couple of field goals, don't turn the ball over, you're going to win the game. And um, and I just feel like uh, I feel like we're gonna win a game. I don't feel like it's it's gonna come any faster or sooner. But I feel like we're gonna win the game a game soon. Uh, Kansas City um, they've been kind of high on their horse a little bit. Win at the top of the division. Um, I think I think there's definitely a good chance we can win this week. I definitely uh, feel like the uh, Kansas City passing attack. It's not very good. They're ranked at the bottom of the league. We just came off a really good passing game, so hopefully we can continue forth on that. Uh, looks like Terrence McGee will not be playing this week. Um, so our past our past secondary won't be at our top notch either. So uh, it's curious how they're going to work on us. How Matt Castle is going to try to pick us apart. Um, uh, I know Kansas City doesn't blitz a lot. Um, they're just going to pressure us with their front three. Uh, they might run a linebacker from one way, and they might run some stunts. But they're really a simple vanilla team. Um, they're just good at they're good at what they do, flying to the ball, uh, knowing knowing where to be at the right time, reading routes. I mean, that's why they've been winning games. Defense have been turning, getting turnovers, and we haven't had an interception all year long. So I just feel like if we don't get an interception this game, it is just it is going to be so sad to go almost halfway mark through the season and not even have an interception yet. I mean, are you serious? Not one? Not a tip? Nothing? So it's just ridiculous. Um, Freddie Jackson looked good last week. Um, C.J. Spiller looked terrible. I mean, he had a couple of good runs. I'm not going to say terrible. I shouldn't use that word terrible, but. He definitely didn't look like a number one draft pick. Uh, he had a couple of good runs, but I guess I always, I'm always i thinking back at the fumble. You know, It keeps making me think of McKelvin. Um, why can't we get a good returner that can hold on to the ball? Um, that's what we need is a returner that can hold on to the ball. Like Roscoe Parrish, he fumbled too. Luckily, it went out of bounds, and we got to punt it in the game in Baltimore. So I feel like we're turning the ball over too much on offense. We really are. We're just... We're not doing a good job at it, and if we can eliminate the simple mistakes and turn the ball over, I think we have a really good chance of winning this weekend. Uh, I feel like we can beat Kansas City 34-21, um, maybe 24, 31-24, 34-24. I think it's going to be a good game, lots of scoring. Um, I might be wrong, but I think it's going to be some touchdowns. I think it's going to... The, it's going to beat the over-under spread of whatever it is, 48 or 50. Uh, I think it's definitely going to go over 50 points. So um, the Bills are 7.5 point spread favorite. Um, I'm going to take them. I always take them. Uh, sometimes I win with the spread, sometimes I don't. Um, I just hope that even if we go this whole year and end up 4-12 and 12 or... 4 and 12, and we look back. I hope we don't go number one draft pick quarterback. I just, and, and I just don't see it gonna happen, man. You really, Ryan Fitzpatrick's not bad. Put some key opponents around him, man. How about an offensive line that doesn't move? If you ever watch the good quarterbacks, they're good because the the, the offensive line. You watch them, man. They drop back and they won 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. Ryan Fitzpatrick's been doing the best he can with what he's had. I mean, you really can see it. He really knows what to do with the ball. I feel like no one's given him enough time. I don't know if he's coming out of his shell with the firing and the trading of Trent Edwards and so forth and so on and being the backup every place he's been, St. Louis, Cincinnati, Buffalo. Um, so 
Uh, I'm really curious. I, I like Ryan Fitzpatrick. I feel like uh, I feel like he's definitely better than any first round. I mean, Andrew Luck. Sure, he looks great, but I don't know. I mean, I, I, I like to I like to I like to think that the number one draft quarterback. Yeah, I don't know. It's too much money. I feel like. I, I mean, I just I don't know. Unless a new bargaining agreement uh, comes up and Buffalo doesn't have to pay like a Matt Stafford kind of deal, it won't happen. Buffalo will not go for it. It just will not happen because we will not devote that much money to a quarterback that's coming out of college. It's just the way we've done it. Um, so I feel like uh, we've had enough first-round quarterback busts in Buffalo. Um, I feel like you can, if anything, if, you, if we do have a high draft pick and we don't know who we want to take, we should trade down. If we want a guy and we know who we want, we should trade down and double get two draft picks. You know, you've seen uh, the Patriots do it. You've seen other good teams do it, man. That's exactly what they do. They, they, they say, oh, we don't want our fifth runner, but we'll take your 10th and your 42nd. And they go, okay. And we take their first and second for our first. And they get the guy they want, and they're willing to pay the guy the money. And we're willing to get two draft picks later in the in the rounds and pick up other good quality players. You know, I feel like that's definitely the way we got to do it. If we have a if we have a really high draft pick, like top seven or eight, trade it, get two. So I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Ryan Fitzpatrick's doing really well. Stevie Johnson, Roscoe Parrish, Lee Evans, the receiving core has been doing really good. Uh, the David Nelson just come back from injury and suspension. I'm not going to be on his back about anything. He played all right. He definitely better than all the other tight ends on our team. <laughs> and sad because Martin was not a bad t player. I mean, he looks good. I see him catch a touchdown pass and he blocks well. So I'm not counting him out. But David Nelson is just taller, longer, faster. And in this league, if you have a tight end that's tall, long, and fast, you can make some touchdowns happen real easily. We've seen it all the time. So, I feel like we can beat Kansas City this week. Let's go Buffalo. And the uh, reason I didn't post a video last week uh, uh, was because the camera was dead and I was going to take you out to where we watch the game at uh, and show you the water because we live right on the water. So, anyway, go Bills. And uh, we're going to get our first win this week. Have faith. Let's go Buffalo.